This beautiful, brightly colored bird that you see is a, is a male scarlet tanager. And I found him one day sitting um, in my backyard eating at my feeders. And I was so excited because I had never seen a bird like this before. I just saw the bright colors across the room and I kind of squealed and I ran to grab my camera and I ran upstairs and set up my tripod and I couldn't believe, but this bird was still there at my feeders. Uh, normally birds are a little skittish when you're kind of running around by the window squealing, but this guy just stayed there and I'd never seen him before and come to find out they're pretty, they're usually pretty hard to see. Sometimes you can spot them in the backyard. Um, but most of the time they live up in the upper branches of a forest canopy. So it is not unusual for these birds to nest about 20 or 30 feet high up off the ground. Um, they are migratory birds. So in the winter, they spend their winters down in the Andes. And then as the summer approaches, they fly south or fly north, excuse me, across the Gulf of Mexico. And this one you see here is um, in my backyard in Illinois. The males are bright red, like you see here, and the females typically are a olive yellow color. So they're two very different colors. Uh, this guy mostly eats insects that he finds up in the trees, but he also will eat fruit and berries if needed. And this specific bird that you're watching on the video has come back and forth to my feeders. You can actually see a Baltimore Oriole in the background there. And, uh, I am quite surprised. He does not seem to be scared of us and we have walked outside and he just sits there and he watches us and then he flies away and comes back. So I wanted to share this special backyard bird with you guys because it's so unusual for me to see something like this and I thought a lot of you guys might want to see him too. So you can see here, I switched my shot. There's a Baltimore Oriole at the very top and you can see I've got two hanging suet feeders there. And then surrounding it, I have hummingbird feeders. And then where you don't see, I actually have a regular feeder with the, the black sunflower seeds. Uh, sorry, the camera equipment's a little bit jerky. My lens and tripod and stuff are a little bit older. But this uh, Scarlet Tanager, he seems to only go for my suets. And I bought some uh, meaty, proteiny suets that are good for year-round birds. And I've got several different types of foods out there. And I even put some fresh berries and stuff. And he only eats these suets, and it's really interesting to watch him because you'll see he'll come up and he'll eat these suets, and then he'll go deck, he'll go down below and he'll wipe his beak off on the decking or see on the railing there. He wipes he wipes the extra suet stuff off, so it's kind of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed being able to see an up close video of this this male scarlet tanager in my backyard. Um, you can see here, there he's wiping his mouth, like I mentioned, after he eats a suet, which is kind of funny, but cute little bird. Anyway, so thanks for popping in, you guys. I've really enjoyed um, making these series, and I'm so glad that I can share my, my love and my passion for watching wildlife and being outdoors and watching my birds at my bird feeder. Uh, hopefully somebody else will enjoy them. At the very least, this bright colors are just absolutely fascinating, so... There's this uh, beautiful guy and check back for some more fun adventures another time.